Hey there, everyone. I know this is a bit of an unusual place to start, but here I am, sitting in the bathroom, taking care of some important business. Anyway, I've got some important things to take care of today, and I'm excited to share them with you all. And remember, folks, always wash your hands after using the bathroom. Cleanliness is key. Now, let's head to the kitchen and get the day started. Good morning, honey. Just letting you know, I've got some important errands to run today. I might be back a little late, so don't wait up for me. I'll make sure to get everything done and be back as soon as I can. All right, take care out there. I'll keep dinner warm for you. Just make sure you come back safe and sound. Will do, thanks. I'll see you later tonight. Love you. I'll miss you while you're gone, so make sure you come back as soon as you can. All right, I'm off now. Take care of yourself while I'm gone. I love you so much, and I can't wait to come back home. See you later tonight, honey. All right, world, here I come. Time to take care of business and get back to what really matters. Let's see what today has in store. Wait a minute, I almost forgot that important paper I need for today. I need to go back and grab it before I head into the city. But hold on, is that Mikey heading toward my house? What's he doing here? I didn't invite him over and my wife's home alone. Something doesn't seem right about this. I'd better keep my distance and see what he's up to. I trust Mikey, but this is just strange. Why would he come over without telling me? I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I need to know what's going on here. Mikey, what on earth are you doing? I swear, if you're up to something fishy, we're going to have a serious talk. Okay, JJ, keep it together. This might be nothing, or it might be something. Either way, I need to know what's going on in my own house. I can't believe this. My own best friend and my wife? How could they do this to me? I thought I could trust them both, but now... Now, I'm not sure what to do. Should I confront them? Or maybe I should go to Mikey's wife and tell her everything? But what mm -hmm. if I'm wrong? What if it's just a misunderstanding? I can't just accuse them without proof. But I also can't just stand by and do nothing. I need to get to the bottom of this, one way or another. I'm going to tell her. She needs to know. Maybe there's an innocent explanation for all of this. But I need to be sure. Emily, I need to talk to you. Come out. It is really very serious and important. JJ, what do you want? Mikey is not at home. Hey, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I need to talk to you about something serious. I think something's going on between Mikey and my wife. JJ, that's ridiculous. Mikey would never do that to you, and your wife wouldn't either. Here, you yourself see everything. I can't believe it. I didn't want to believe it, but there they are, right in front of us. How could Mikey do this to me, to us? JJ, what are we going to do? This changes everything. I don't know what to think anymore. Emily, I never thought we'd have to resort to something like this. But we need to teach them a lesson. Betrayal is not something we can just overlook. So, I've come up with a plan. What if we dig a pit by the door? When they step out, they'll fall right in. JJ, I'm shocked we're even considering this. But maybe you're right. They need to realize the consequences of their actions. And sometimes, words aren't enough. If we're going to do this, we need to make sure it's safe, though. The last thing we want is to hurt them physically. Even if they've hurt us emotionally, maybe a small scare will open their eyes. You're absolutely right. The aim isn't to harm, but to send a clear message that their actions have hurt us deeply. We'll make sure the pit is shallow enough so they can get out easily, but it'll be enough of a shock to get them thinking. Let's do this and hope it brings about some real change in them. Maybe this will be the wake-up call they need to realize what they've risked. And after this, we'll see if there's any hope of repairing what they've broken. All right, Emily, the pit is ready. We've covered it well enough so it's not obvious. Let's step back a bit and watch from here. I can't believe we're actually doing this, but at the same time, I hope it'll be enough to make them realize how much they've hurt us. I never imagined we'd be in a situation like this, but sometimes drastic measures are necessary. Standing here, waiting to see if it works, makes me feel a mix of anxiety and anticipation. Do you think this will finally open their eyes and help them understand the pain they've caused us? I really hope so, Emily. It's not easy to confront people you care about, but sometimes you have to do what's necessary to protect yourself and your feelings. Hey, what's going on? How did we end up in this pit? You need to reflect on your actions and understand why we're hurt. We needed you to understand how we feel. And now you've had a taste of what it's like to be on the receiving end of betrayal. JJ! Emily, this is insane! You can't just leave us here! Emily, 
I know this is a lot to take in, but we have to keep our cool. Let's gather what we need for this bigger plan. We need to be strategic about how we handle this. We'll meet at the clearing near the restaurant to figure it all out. We can't rush it. You're right, JJ. We need to be smart about this. I'll gather what I can from our place. I think we should focus on making sure they understand the impact of their actions. This isn't just about revenge, it's about getting closure. Exactly. We need to make them feel what we're feeling right now. I'll head home, grab a few things, and meet you at the clearing. We'll put our heads together and come up with something that really sends a message. Okay, JJ, we've got this. Let's make sure we're on the same page and ready to face whatever comes next. I'll see you soon. Take care on your way back. You too, Emily. Let's make this count. We'll figure it out together. Once I'm done, I'll head to the clearing and meet Emily. We need to make sure we're ready for anything. We've been hurt, and it's gonna take more than words to fix this. Actions speak louder than words. It's not easy to forgive and forget so quickly. All right, let's see. I'll need to gather everything that might come in handy for our plan. I've got dynamite, a bow, some laxatives, anything that could make an impact. Might as well take everything I can find around here. I'll also grab anything else I can find that might help us. Better to be overprepared than underprepared. Okay, I think I've got everything we need. Time to head out and meet Emily. I hope this plan works out and we can finally put an end to this. Damn it! I can't believe I fell into the same trap I set for Mikey and Elisa! What a mess! At least I managed to climb out quickly! I need to shake it off and focus on meeting Emily to devise our revenge plan. We need a solid plan that'll really make an impact. No more slip-ups. This has to be flawless for our sake and to show them they can't mess with us. Hey JJ, I brought some serious gear, sniper rifle and shield. You never know when things might get messy, right? But what do you think? Is this the right way to go? Wow, Emily, I appreciate the preparation, but maybe we should aim for something less aggressive. I think we can handle this more peacefully. It might be more satisfying and less risk involved for us. Well, dynamite is really a peaceful solution. Haha, <laughs> you prepared well too. All right, JJ, I see your point. A subtle approach might be more effective. Look, there's Mikey and Elisa heading into the restaurant. We could slip something into their food instead. Exactly, Emily. Let's be smart about this. We can use the back entrance to get into the kitchen without being seen. Once we know what they ordered, we can do our little trick with the laxative. It'll be subtle, but it'll send the message loud and clear. That's genius, JJ. I love it. It's a perfect way to get back at them without causing too much trouble. Let's move quickly before they finish ordering. Let's go. We need to be quiet and careful. When we get to the kitchen, we'll ask the staff what they ordered, and we'll add the special ingredient to Mikey's burger. They won't know what hit them. Perfect. This will teach them not to mess with us. But remember, we need to get out of there before they start eating so they don't suspect anything. Let's make it quick and smooth. Agreed. We'll be in and out before they even realize we were there. Let's go teach them a lesson they won't forget. All right, here comes the waiter. Let's stay back for a moment and let him do his thing. Once he gets the order, we'll make our move. Good idea, JJ. Just act casual. We'll get our chance soon enough. He's got the order. Let's wait until he turns his back. Excuse me, just a quick question. What did Mikey and Elisa order? I might want to try it next time. Oh, they ordered the classic burgers with extra cheese. A popular choice today. Now, JJ, while he's looking away, add the laxative to the burger. Quick and easy, just like we planned. Done. Let's slip out the back and watch the show from a distance. They'll never know what hit them. This is going to be legendary. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. They'll think twice before messing with us again. Let's find a good spot to watch, but remember, we need to stay out of sight. We don't want them to suspect us. Look, there they are. The waiter just delivered the burgers. Perfect timing. Let's see how this unfolds. I'm glad we did this. It's not too harsh. Just a little reminder that actions have consequences. They should have known better than to betray us. Oh, 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 why do I have diarrhea? It's so embarrassing in front of Alice. Wow, look at Mikey run. That laxative worked faster than I expected. I can't believe it kicked in so quickly. Well, serves him right. They might think twice about their actions now. And you know what? Tomorrow's my birthday. So this little revenge feels like an early gift. Happy early birthday, JJ. I'm glad we got to do something about it today. It's kind of satisfying to see them scrambling like that. I hope it teaches them a lesson. Thanks, Emily. Yeah, this is definitely one birthday I won't forget. Maybe this whole thing will bring some much needed change. Either way, it's a day to remember. Do you have any plans for your birthday? Maybe we should do something fun to celebrate and get our minds off of all this drama. 
I was thinking of keeping it low-key. Emily, look over there. Mikey and Alice are sitting on the balcony. Mikey is just gazing at her while she sips her tea. It's like nothing even happened. I can't believe this. We thought the laxative would make them come running back to us, but they're still together. Maybe they really are happy with each other. Yeah, it's hard to watch them like this, especially when we still care about them so much. I thought this plan would shake things up, but it seems like they've only gotten closer. Maybe we went about this all wrong. Instead of trying to get back at them, maybe we should have just talked to them. But it's too late for that now. You're right. I guess seeing them together like this really shows us where their hearts are. It's painful, but maybe we have to accept it. I hate to admit it, but I think you're right. Let's head back and try to figure out what we want from here. I just wish things were different, but at least we tried. Look, there he is. Mikey, let's talk. He's not even looking our way. I don't think he saw you at all. That's it. I've had enough of this. It's time to use the dynamite and blow up JJ's house. If they won't listen to us, then we'll make them notice. Honestly, I'm not even against it at this point. Maybe blowing up the house will send a clear message, but let's wait until night so no one suspects us. Agreed. We'll have a better chance under the cover of darkness. In the meantime, let's gather everything we need and wait for the right moment. Yeah, let's get ready. Once it's dark, we'll move quickly. I just hope we're making the right decision here. It's a drastic step, but I don't see any other way. I feel the same way. It's not what I wanted, but we need to do something. Let's just focus on getting through tonight and we'll figure out the rest later. It's finally dark enough. Let's make sure we do this quickly and quietly. We need to place the dynamite where it will have the biggest impact. I've got everything we need right here. We should start with the corners of the house and then work our way around. We can't afford to make any mistakes. This feels so surreal, but it's our only option. I trusted them, Emily. And now, look where we are. Let's just get it done and move on. I know, JJ. It's hard to believe, but we have to stay focused. After this, we can finally start fresh without feeling betrayed every time we see them. All right, the dynamite is in place. Now we just have to get out of here and let it do its job. Are you ready for this, Emily? As ready as I'll ever be, let's go. Once we're at a safe distance, we can set it off and watch it all go down. Here we go. Let's make sure we're far enough away. I just hope we won't regret this later, but right now, it feels like the right thing to do. Please, JJ, Emily, don't do it. We were planning a surprise for JJ's birthday. We wanted to make it special. What does it all mean? You have to explain everything to us. I don't understand anything. I don't understand anything either. Yeah, it's all been a misunderstanding. We've been working on this gift for you, JJ. Now that it's past midnight, happy birthday, buddy. Wait, are you serious? I can't believe this. We thought, I mean, we were ready to blow up the house. Oh my God, we were so convinced you two were up to something. I feel terrible now. I'm so sorry it looked that way. We really just wanted to surprise you. I love you so much, JJ. And Emily, I swear I love you. I never wanted to hurt you. Here's the surprise, your very own Lamborghini, JJ. Wow, I really didn't expect this. I feel like such a fool for doubting you two. Thank you so much for the gift. I guess we all learned a lesson today. Thank you for understanding, and I'm sorry for overreacting. I'm glad we didn't go through with our plan. Thank you so much for the gifts. I really appreciate it. I also want to apologize for the way Emily and I acted today. It's okay, JJ. I'm glad we could clear things up. Let's head home and get some rest. I agree. Let's all get some sleep and make tomorrow special. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thanks again for everything. See you tomorrow for the celebration. Alice, I can't tell you how much I love this new Lamborghini. It's incredible. But what makes me even happier is sharing this moment with you. I truly love you, Alice. Oh, JJ, that's so sweet of you. I'm really happy you love the car. But more than anything, I'm just glad to be with you. Let's make today unforgettable. Absolutely, Alice. We'll make the most of today and create some amazing memories. Thanks for being with me through everything. Welcome to our restaurant. Alice, I'm so hungry that I can't wait any longer. I'm just going to start with this burger. JJ, that's so funny. I guess we'll have to decide quickly then. I hope it's not too late to order something else too. Don't worry, Alice. I'll make sure to order us both something delicious. I just couldn't wait any longer. Have you already decided what to order? One more moment, please. Oh no, I just realized this is the burger I put laxatives in yesterday. I've already taken a bite. I need to get home immediately, Alice. 
I'm starting to feel really unwell. JJ, what? That's terrible. Let's get you home quickly. I didn't realize it would affect you like this. We need to get you taken care of. I feel so embarrassed. I didn't mean to set myself up like this. Let's hurry and get out of here before it gets worse. Is everything all right? Can I get you anything else while you decide what to order? Actually, we need to leave urgently. I've got to go home immediately. I'm feeling really unwell. I'm so embarrassed that I did this to myself. Don't worry, JJ. We'll get you home quickly. Just hold on. I'll handle the situation here. The worst part is that I set myself up for this without even meaning to. It's so embarrassing. I really didn't plan for this to happen.